It is way too cold outside. Just got done milking. This is what we do on the homestead whenever the weather is too nasty to be able to go out. How are you feeling? Cold. Pregnant. Feeling pregnant. Feeling pregnant. No, no, I know. Fine. I think I laid down like 30 I'll minutes ago to give my hips no, a rest. To... I've already committed to cocoa and oatmeal. Is that what I'm making today? Yes. Your, your hips have to rest forever? So I'm making all the food today? All of it. The chicken, the broth, <sighs> get it. What we're going to do is we're going to make a chicken, whole chicken. We're going to make chicken broth. We've never actually showed how Kelly makes the chicken. Filter some milk right there, and then I'm going to make some bread. A lot of things going on today. Cream for coffee. Sourdough for the sourdough bread. And this. <laughs> this is just chocolate pudding from chocolate icebox pie. It's leftover filling. Shh. No one knows that it's way back here in the fridge. And Kelly and I are eating it. Oh my goodness, it's so good. So good. Oh, I think we're also gonna freeze dry or start the process of freeze drying some eggs. So it's a big inside homestead day. I'm not making any cookies. Okay, so we're getting about one and three quarter gallons right now from Goldie. Uh, I think we could get two full gallons if we were to, we need a better feeding system. So I bought a 55 gallon drum and I think that's gonna help some of the issues. Yeah, so right now we're at one and three. So we're over one and three quarters. This is why I do it because it's not, it's not, no, it's not ready. It's like a choo-choo train sound. <laughs> yeah, so how do you make your hot cocoa? Oh, it's so good. So we do the goldy milk first. I like the dark chocolate, so we use this. Maple syrup and vanilla. And I put salt in there because it makes it kind of sweeter. It's like a better taste. Maple syrup, vanilla, yeah. and a little bit of salt. And I know there's two places uh, on Instagram that I follow for recipes. One is venison for dinner, and the other is Ruth and Zim. They make like a concentrate for chocolate, like it could be chocolate milk or hot cocoa, and I have never made it, but I've always wanted to. And I always think on days like today where it's like 11 before I even start cooking, I'm like, oh, that would have been a really convenient thing to have. So this is not as convenient, but honestly, just don't even mess with that hot cocoa packet. This is so much better. Yeah. And then, Callie, oh, what is so this? Good. It's my pregnancy tea. So my midwife makes like a bulk mixture of herbs, and then she sends you home with it, and you drink it every day. It's good. I think it's got like rose hips and red raspberry leaf and nettles, maybe, and maybe something else. But it's all good things that you need for the end of your pregnancy. What are you saying, Philly? I'm saying tippy toes. Okay, you can do it. So close. Oh! Oh! Got some. Okay, it's time for spring cleaning up there. Everybody enjoying your hot cocoa? I, I enjoyed my hot cocoa. Mine. Sourdough starter is ready.
All right, so while we have dishes going, we got bread working and chicken thawing. We just we're now received- We're so busy. We're just so busy. We are busy. What are you talking about? Today's we a busy, busy day. We're but you brought done. the camera to me sitting in a, like a comfy chair. I, I do not I, look like a busy contributor to the household. However, our friends have been busy and wrote a book. And it's so good. It's gorgeous. It really is. So Justin um, sent Bo a message and said, Hey man, I am... I'm sending you a, like a pre-release of my book. Why don't you check it out? And it's just all the moments that you would want insight into how the roads live, what they're doing, how they've created what they create, which was cool to us before we'd ever met. But since becoming friends, I can say, looking in this book, the pictures and the story of it all are really such an insight into how they live on screen is how they're living off screen. And I think that that's such a cool thing for someone to give us a sneak peek into what it looks like to homestead and cook from scratch and create businesses and life. And it does, it just starts with being rooted and what you believe in what you're doing. And Justin, I think you did an awesome job on this. It's gorgeous. And Rebecca, I know this was not just Justin locked away for a while in a room thinking these ideas up. I know this is a whole Rhodes family effort. So it's called The Rooted Life, it's Cultivating Health and Wholeness Through Growing Your Own Food. We just got it yesterday. We got to flip through it. I know. The, the images are so gorgeous. So, and then I, I've read a couple of chapters of it. It feels like it's a blend. It looks like their Rooted show on mm -hmm. Abundance Plus. Link to the Abundance Plus where you can see their, their show Rooted is down below. But then it reads yeah. like Justin talking yeah. on the vlog. Yeah. So Justin has a little bit different, uh, it has like a different tone and message between the Rooted show, it's a little bit deeper. Yeah, than rooted. yeah, it's And the rich. vlog, vlog is like super fun and, and everything. I love that it's a blend of both of those in a book. I also like that when Bo holds it, he's like, I can't stop touching it. This is Bo. It's so, I love it. Favorite. <laughs> if I, that's you at all, where you're like, I also like tactile things. This is Bo's jam, just to touch. Like a matte, <laughs> a matte finish uh, book cover. Just, it Start feels, to finish. It's it hitting all the senses. Really cool. I, 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 yes, I do. I do like that. So yes, um, check out the link for you to be able to pre-order this book. Thank you, Justin, for allowing us to check it out. Early. Early, yes, it's so cool. So cool. It's cold. It's very, very cold. Okay, so this is how we do it. This is skin right here, and we can tuck the legs together with the skin. And that is what we did not do in the video. So what is this called? This is the spatchcock. Funny name, practical use. So spatchcocking is whenever you cut out the back. The spine. The spine. Mm -hmm. There's, um, I used to just do this with a knife or like kitchen shears. These are just shears we use when processing. I cut out the spine and then lay the bird flat because I get a better even cook out of it and it cooks faster. So like I can do this whole bird in an hour and it'll have like a crispy crust on the skin all the way around. When I bake it just like a whole bird, the part on the bottom is never as crisp and it, it doesn't cook evenly, I don't feel like. So I like this method because it's much quicker and gives me the cook that I want. Like lard, bacon fat, whatever you've rendered. My favorite part of chicken is all the pieces with the skin. Cooking a whole chicken freaks people out. Like I've just learned that from the internet and from my friends. From your friends? Yes. So I don't know why it freaks people out but like touching a dead animal oh. I guess 
but more than happy to touch it in its pieces. Like, oh, I cook chicken breasts, or I cook chicken wings, or legs, or thighs, or whatever. But I've come to know not everyone is comfortable with a whole bird. So it's not that they are afraid to not cook it correctly. They're actually weirded out. Oh, yeah, because we're divorced. Like, in our food system, everything is sanitized, prepackaged, put away. Nothing is... I mean, even the other day... Someone on YouTube said, are you drinking that raw? It should be pasteurized. And they're talking about us milking directly from the cow. And I first had like a very Kelly comment where I was just like, no, we're good. Like, forget you. And then I really thought about it. I was like, you know what? I could be snarky about this and keep the information to myself. Or I could reply thoughtfully and say, why? And I think if people will ask themselves, why are you freaked out about a whole bird? Why are you freaked out about drinking raw milk? Why are you freaked out? And then you continue to ask why until the answer actually satisfies you. You probably won't be as freaked out about those things. Salt, garlic, powder, and pepper. And then I put it in the oven at 425. Salt, pepper, garlic powder. Yep. 425 for our oven? Yeah, you could do it 400 for yours. It just depends on where you are and how hot you have to run your oven. Are any of y'all watching 1883? We're all like homestead, homesteaders or homestead wannabeers, and it's kind of like the beginning of what homesteading was: was trying to get your own land and have some freedom. Or the the one the, the episode that we watched last night, the latest one. I guess it's episode nine. It's pretty intense. If you don't know about 1883, it's kind of like a prequel to the show Yellowstone. Uh, it's not kid friendly at all. My kids cannot watch this show, but this they. Um, it's if you're Kelly and I's age, you definitely remember playing the Oregon Trail on the computer in school, and that's basically what 1883 is. It's it's about this group of people that are going on the Oregon Trail to go from like Tennessee to Texas and from Texas all the way. I guess they're trying to get up to Oregon. It's a cool show. It's entertaining. It's very, very dramatic and intense. It's got Tim McGraw and Faith Hill in it. And then Sam Elliott. Tim McGraw, Faith Hill. They're actually really good actors. I'm surprised about that. Well, slight change of plan. We got a message from our CSA, Community Supported Agriculture, I think is what it is. Our CSA is ready and we didn't know that we had to pick it up today. We forgot. Uh, I gotta go do that. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do the freeze dry eggs today. I'm gonna do my best. But I just don't know. Right now, it's starting to freeze. And so before I go, I'm like, oh, no. I need to go shut off all my water to all my mini hoses so that things don't freeze. Okay, so that's open. Gonna open that. Good, those lines are open. Then run down here. Ah! Let's check for copperheads. No copperheads. Gonna shut this off. This is gonna be so cold. Oh, that didn't even do it. That was awesome. I think something already started freezing. So that's good. Okay. Do that. Okay, pigs. Uh, sure, I'll feed you now. Hold on. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I'm wearing sweatpants. 
Okay, pigs, y'all get stay warm. It's super duper 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 cold. I just got home and we gave up. They are watching a movie. Thank you.